Radio episode zero, the trot. Um, big shout out to Shed Fiends um, for the intro song, Corner of Hargraves. If you remember Gordon Bailey, um, yeah, that's his band. He's the drummer for them. Um, so yeah, definitely go check him out. New EP out now. But um, yeah, with that, obviously this is editing Matt Hanso. Um, just want to welcome you guys to a new project that um, myself and Mason Appleton are doing now. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. It's obviously going to be a bit more raw, episode zero, so it doesn't really technically count as the first episode. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy, um, yeah, what Mason and I just recorded. Radio, welcome to the uh, episode zero of The Trot. Um, my name is Matthew Hansen. I obviously have the YouTube channel Matt Hanso, um, if you're watching this on YouTube. This is going to be released on Spotify as well, as well as Apple Podcasts, hopefully. So yeah, I'm going to keep all three open to everyone. But yeah, if you haven't heard my voice before, um, I guess a bit about me. I'm from Brisbane, Australia, but I'm a D1 runner at the University of New Orleans. So quite far away from home, but been really enjoying it. This is my first cross-country season here as well. So yeah, had a really good summer block. And uh, yeah, I guess the content on the main channel just hasn't been, you know, too much recently. So um, I decided I've been on enough podcasts to kind of know my way around it a little bit. I've listened to, you know, Fuller Kudos, obviously Coffee Club, um, and this Inside Running podcast for years now, so why not give uh, the podcasting a go? But um, I couldn't do it by myself. I had to ring in only the toppers of top dogs. Um, Mr. Mason Appleton, how are you going? I'm great. Yeah, we've had a big day of training today, so it's a Tuesday, so um, we're both pretty sore. We're recording this after. Hopefully going to pump them out on a Wednesday, so get yeah ready for the weekly Wednesday, or, uh, Wednesday uploads. But yeah, I guess uh, you got to do a bit of an intro, Mason. All right, well, I'm from New Orleans. Um, I used to be a swimmer. I stopped mm-hmm. swimming around my freshman year, and then I started running. Took a year off my sophomore year, restarted junior year, and we're here now. Yeah. And it's going well. Progressions so, like this. Yep, so it's got a linear progression. You've got to also very fast, Bradler, so that there's yes. talent in the family. Uh, give us a little yes. like insight to Mr. Hunter Appleton. Uh, my brother goes to the University of Colorado Boulder, and he's, he's pretty fast. Yeah, like... Uh, what are these PVs? Like 13, 50, 52, 759. Yeah, so there's talent in the bloodline. And, um, you you know, in high school, you had a bit of a rough kind of junior, senior year. But, yeah. you know, you got through it and now... Well, I opened with a 19-minute three-mile. Yeah, so not ideal for, like, college recruiting and stuff. But, yeah. you know, you had you got a... I wouldn't say a lucky break, but you kind of, you know, got up there, you know, walked on. Yes, I met the universe. I didn't walk on. Yeah, Brock got to watch me do a few workouts at City Park since I was from New Orleans. And he saw that I was in better shape than I was showing in my races. So he had recruited me when no other schools would. And then while he had already recruited me is kind of when I started to get out there and run mm. some good time. So I ran 1550 in the 5K at running lanes once I was already committed. And also ran... 937 in the 3200 so yeah that'll probably be two best two best high school special then i went to running lanes for a mile and ran 428 so yeah solid i I mean did put together a little bit of time so i shit on your in your high school yeah (laughs) we also had similar PRs to hunter (laughs) yeah i know and look at me now no it's all right a decent track track season but um yeah i guess uh you know, get, give us an insight to, you know, what else you're kind of doing. You know, what are you studying? Uh, I'm a bio stuff. major. Uh, my dad is a dentist in Slidell, Louisiana, in the Metropolitan. And, Shout um, out the Dirty Dell. I want to do what he does. I think he lives a very good life. So <laughs> yeah. I would like to be a dentist. He does. He gets to run a lot. And I think that's something I want to do for the rest of my life. And I just think it would be a really good living. Mm. So I'm a bio major right now. And we're trying to keep the GPA up there so I get into LSU Dental School. Yeah, that's sick. I mean, he's definitely got more aspirations, I guess, career wise than me doing mine. What am I even studying now? Like, business. Bachelor of. No, no, I switched from business. I'm doing the Bachelor of Science in Human Performance and Health Promotion, that's but a concentration nice. in exercise physiology. But honestly. That's not useless. Dude, no, it is. That's very what, useful. Wait, what? Can you name a job for a Bachelor of Science in Human Performance and Health Promotion? Physical therapist. Bro, we don't have physical therapists in Australia. What? We have physiotherapists, bro. What does that mean? I don't know. I, I, I don't know what the difference is. <laughs> it's the same thing. Yeah, it probably is, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, so um, we're, I've definitely, if you've watched my videos, I have a bit of a flair. So um, I guess, yeah, uh, hopefully it flows pretty well. Because, uh, yeah, I guess uh, this is going to be the, the pilot episode. So it's supposed to be kind of awkward and we're getting used to it and stuff. So um, I guess with that, like, uh, we'll run through the segments. So we're going to have training weeks. We're going to have Keeping Up With You and O, which is the University of New Orleans. Um, we're going to have um, running 
uh, um, you know, relevant running news, I'm going to call it, just because we're not going to, you know, pick everything. And then we're going to have Hanso and Aranto <laughs> slash, um, I thought it was on today, I haven't actually told him, um, apples on a waffle, oh, apples on a, oh, fuck, what was it? Uh, no, I forgot it, no. Is it about a tantrum I throw? No, no, it's like, it's like baffle, it's like apples on a baffle. Yeah, ap- yeah apples on a baffle. Mean? Bro, this means you're just going to be talking shit about something. Oh, Apples okay. on a yeah, I got there eventually. Word, word. Yeah, so that's gonna be the segments, and we'll quick we'll go through them today um as well, just for content and you know just the pro selling. But next week's gonna be a really exciting episode, and I'll get to why in a sec. But yeah, right here. So I guess uh you know the first segment, the main one. Um, I'm pretty much copying this from every single podcast. I'm talking like inside running podcast, for the kudos. But you know, or oh, inside jogging podcast, literally just like a, a British version of this Australian running podcast. He doesn't listen to them, I don't so know coffee club. yeah, you only know coffee club. Yeah, shout out to them. You know, you listen to like pretty much all Australians on it. Yeah, they do very good. Yeah, they are. They're, they're pretty I much like, American though now. Like they've lived here for so long, but have they? yeah, well, they were the Wisconsin. Well, and then yeah, Jordy no, Beanish is from New Zealand, but that's technically yeah. Australian to be honest. I didn't see Beanish in one. I think the one I watched was just Ali Morgan and. I Joe Clicker. They, no, they had someone else as a guest. I forget who it was. Yeah, I don't they, think they broke. Well, imagine being like. I might have, no, Imagine no. being Ollie Hall. Like, you run 329 for 1500. You could bring anyone on the podcast. Imagine we yeah, just, like, text, like, I don't know. It might have been Mario. Has he had Mario on? Yeah, yeah, they would have had Mario on. It might have been Mario. Yeah. But, and um, dog, too. Yeah, yeah, um, Gus. He's on the shirt. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, if you're, <sighs> if you're listening, you won't be able to see Sherman wearing, wearing a coffee club t-shirt. Um, but um, I guess look, Mon- uh, the way we're going to do this, just because we're obviously on the same team, um, training's been very similar, but we're kind of just going to talk about like the day as a whole instead of like, you know delving in individually like other podcasts do. Um, because, you know, we need to have like a little cell, you know, not just my amazing personality. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, Mondays, uh, we do like more like really good like speed development yeah, stuff pretty much year round every week yeah so it's, it's pretty much you know obviously speed like touching on it even during cross country really important so um this day we had a really like specific speed development day because it was like we did two mile warm up and then we did two progressive 100s and two flying 30s so i guess like progressive 100s we just kind of built through rep. i think i we did them we did the second one together because me and Pardo were doing yeah, it. Man, yeah. um but i think i split like 13 2 and like 12 7 you didn't take splits though hey? Nah, so yeah, yeah, he was he, he always run. He's he's got, he's got like, man, you just move your legs so fast for being oh, yeah, for speed, dude. Yeah, I so I got no foot speed, and then we did flying thirty. So if you don't know flying thirties, it's basically like a it's a sixty meter rep technically because you're speeding up to full speed, and then you time from obviously your second thirty, where hopefully you're pretty much at like your maximal velocity, I guess. So I came second last on the team. I think only I lost. I think me and Pardo. Pardo and I, sorry, were very similar. I think well, I was 3.7 on both. Yeah, but you gotta remember, it's a 3.7 second run, and it's hand time. Yeah, it but, like, it makes no, but accurate. it makes sense the way it was, like, ordered. Like, yeah. you look at the results and be like, you're, you're, like, up there, so you, what, you run, like, 3.5? Something like that. Yeah, but the revelation of these flying 30s was after when bloody um, Sophia Wolf, um, our German exchange student, um you know, our new recruit, and she ran, like, 3.4 or something, which she beat Mason's time. Very hurtful. I was in yeah, was right. trainers. Yeah, this is... Yeah, you were in trainers, but to be fair, like, she looked like she was moving. I saw that video, bro, and she was... She's, she's fast. She's fast, so, you know, watch out. She was also moving on the... I did the hills. We, oh. we So this week, on our speed development day, we did 50, or, like, 12-second hills, and um, I was on my, like, fifth rep, and I was going up the hill. Sophia just flew by my shoulder, and I Dude. was like... This this can't happen. So I, I, went I was there and I had, to, I had to race around the hill. I was on a hurt walk around those, bro. Um, so yeah, I guess we both did that. And then I did, I think, so I got like a mile. We did like a lap jog between everything, so we got an extra mile. So I think I did, I did eight and a bit for the morning. So I would have done like five after. I don't know. Yeah, I you only did like six in the day. Say that three. I, yeah, I had a big mileage week. I just, I think I was lacking that day. Yeah, I did not feel like bro. You lack on one day. No, no. What happened was I woke up. And I was really tired because I didn't sleep the night before, and I did not drink coffee in the morning. Yeah, I, I, oh, decided, that's to, right. I decided to sleep in instead. And I'm I was drinking coffee. Yeah, I can't do that. Dumb. Yeah, I, I had to start the morning with the coffee. Especially we have practice at like six a.m. right now, which is like kind of seeds because it, it's ninety five degrees at six a.m. Oh, a. dude, are oh, we being talked about the weather? I don't know how we got this far in and not talked about the weather. We're only on Monday, but you know this is like the the building block of the week. So, bro, every single run we've done today it was technically the coldest, and it was for my. Uh, my um, metric buddies it was oh well i guess mp or uh, yeah. it, was 20, it was 20 wrong it was it was 20 it was 27 degrees but it felt like 31 but i'm pretty sure 
that's the coldest day we've had here. It, it's because like, we got a storm. Yeah, we got a storm this afternoon. But, but yeah, it's been brutal. I mean, even live, have, being have lived in Slidell for or Louisiana for my whole life, this is the worst. It's yeah, and been. this is my first summer. It, how good? How good's that for me? I just love that for me, dog. You skipped half of it. Yeah, I, mean, I know. Got the bad I got part. the bad part of it. And right after the worst week. Yeah. The worst week was the week before you got here, but it's been. Oh, excruciating yeah, it's so that, bad. Dude. Anyways, um, I ran. I ran the afternoon. He didn't. Yeah. So yeah, I just did four miles or like six point four k. So it was like eight, no, oh, pretty much nineteen k for me the day. Then Tuesday we had a big boy. Big boy day. Big day too. Big day, dog. I don't so, the workout. No, nah, the workout was. Um, oh, so it was, it was more, no, it wasn't. No, it was um, oh. th- it was three mile, two yeah. mile, one mile off a mile jog. For all my kind of metric guys, basically it's like, you know, four point eight k, one point six k jog, three point two k, one point six k jog, and then one point six k at the end. So it's a very chunky workout, eight miles or twelve point eight k worth of work. Um, so I guess we, but, but this day, this day in particular sucked, like weather wise. Oh, yeah. This and we didn't have the water out. We didn't have the, yeah. the water out. <laughs> <laughs> and um, oh, I like. Before the last mile, I had to like stop and I like sc- I sculled all his water. Yeah, because yeah. I played like our coach. Show, our coach said about that. It's coach West. Clayton. His name's Coach Clayton. Mad lad. Um, he's just Great. been brought in. Very good guy. Um, he's been he's just been awesome in the heat, like with handing us bottles and stuff. And he handed me masons. I was like, oh, I'll just also indulge. It was cold as well. It's slap. Took it upon himself. But um, yeah. Anyway, the paces were pretty slow just because of the heat. Um, this day in particular was really bad. Oh, as I said, it was excruciatingly bad yeah. this day. And, and um, the sun was like being yeah, like six thirty. It was. We ended up hitting a lot slower than we were assigned, but. You know, it changed. Yeah, we, we, right right, yeah, we, we, we so were told was, like, to go the higher end. So I had on my splits. Yeah, we well, were, no, your splits are wrong. I just know your splits are wrong. It yeah, was 16.37 for the first three mile. Yeah. So right about that kind of, yeah, 320 high pace for my metric guys or like, you know, 5.30, you know, lows, I guess. And then we had a mile jog in 6.50. Then we did two mile. The pace was increasing. I think we ran like 5.23 and then maybe like a 521 so that was a really solid rep for like 10 to 40 low um for my australian well my metric guys it was about like yeah 320s so yeah working it down and then we did a mile jog so well, I, this, took a, yeah, I took a pee break so right this 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 is the point where the workout kind of changes for both of us because no we did the same thing well right? we did the same thing but the only you, difference is we had the mile jog in between which they all did i took a leak and um Alex was rather injured. yeah, and Alex stayed with me while I was one of my teammates. And rather than taking the whole next mile jog and losing everybody, I decided to just do like such, I did a point eight mile jog, but like and counted my pee as part of my break, so I didn't get extra break. Mm. I just wasn't jogging for some of the breaks, so I cheated a little bit. Obviously, they they weren't with me for the last rep, so we. So I had, um, I guess we were intro the team a little bit as well, but I had Cade, Evan, and Kelvin. So kind of like a supposed, you know, more 5K guy. Oh, I mean, and Pardo's more 5K, 10K guy, and Cade and Kelvin are really good, like, milers and yeah. 800 guys. So they're probably one of the better guys, like, definitely some of the top, you know, three or four on the team. Um, so yeah, I was with them, but I was, I was cooking, bro. I was, I was dunzo beans, bro. I was and too. I got to our last mile and it was like, we're supposed to try and close in five flight. Just like a close mile. Sub five. Sub five, sorry. And I went out first, like, you know, six, seven hundred. And I was at like three minute pace and I was like, oh, we're cooking. Bro, and then I ran five ten. So like yeah. that second half, bro, I popped and I ran past him and I was like, damn, they look kind of like they're kind of moving. Cause you we were, were Alex. We were, cause, um. We took that break, and I got a little bit of water also, so I guess I took two breaks, but this was like 15 seconds. No, 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 no. Honestly, but, um, water break doesn't even count. Yeah, it, when, in this weather, to get through the workout, sometimes you need water. It's just, that's how it be sometimes. But um, I ended up hitting 508. 50, yeah. 507 is what my core staff said. 508. No, that's 507. I got 507. Yeah, that's, that's solid. So that... That was AM, and we've been doing double threshy stuff. Even though... Every week. Bro, this, yeah, I've, I've done it, I was doing it in summer quite a bit as well. Um, I probably did it, like, I've probably done it, like, for the last... I didn't do it that much. Just, I, did, even, I did it today as well, so I've done it, like, probably the last, like, 15 weeks. I think weeks. I've done it the past six weeks. Yeah, anyway, so we had a double workout, just, like, three-minute reps on the treadmill, so, obviously, it's really... It gets really hot in the afternoon here. Like, I'm talking, like, 35 to 40 degrees for my Australian metric. Yeah, but you also need the dew point up in there. Yeah, the dew... Like, that's, like, that's like feel, I'm talking more, like, feels like... There's been days where it's been, like, feels like 44, 45, so, yeah, pretty tough. So, we go on the treadmills. We often do it together, um... So I think this day you program faster than me. I just did five by three minutes at like five, uh, 
11 and a half miles per hour, which is yeah, I think I actually got 513 pace, 314. Yeah, you were pretty quick that day, I remember. So, yeah, I mean, not really much. Like, I, I wear my high rate monitor and I'm pretty consistently hit like 160. And I know, like, I'm a, I'm a 170 yeah. kind of threshold guy. So, but then it's like, it's crazy how you do like 510s or like 505s in the treadmill, like, little cruisy. Like, this workout is yeah. hard. And it's like, then you go outside and it's like 530s. Like, I, I've obviously. You'll, you'll hear about it this more next week because I've had a bit of a meltdown today. It's a Tuesday because <laughs> I, I just haven't finished a workout outside. Like, yeah, even even rough. that even that workout, I got dropped, like, so hard. I think came close in 446. So, like, these PM workouts have been the only thing, like, keeping my confidence together because it's like, I haven't finished a workout in, outside, but inside, bro, I'm a close oh, 446 was filthy bro, bro. he, he was weather. dude that was and he, he blew pardo and yeah. kelvin up because they all went with it and they were like oh, done man i remember running past kelvin bro kelvin like literally was there for like 0.8 and then he just like legit yeah. walked the last point two. i mean i don't think many people have been able to run for oh this. right that was crazy anyway um so we did that we also have lift um but the list pretty introductory so it wasn't really much it's we're Not still getting deep. yeah we're still getting into it um obviously different movements and stuff for a new strength coach um, then Wednesday, this is the worst day of the, uh, uh, like, this is the worst running conditions I've ever run in. Do you remember this Wednesday we ran on the lakefront? Yeah, I think so. And we did strides Wait, after. No. The, the Wednesday we didn't run on the lakefront. Oh, apparently we didn't. We ran in a city park. The, oh, it was I the think, next day. Yeah, it was the, the day next... you're talking about was Thursday. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it sucked. Thursday was tough. It, it sucked. Like, it was rough. Um, But anyway, Wednesday, I did seven easy. I think we ran, like, eight flights to say as well. Yeah, so, Wednesday, I only did six. City Park. I, thought, I doubled so, back with four. You pussies hate I'm running. Still, up. I like, didn't even talk. Well, we didn't say anything about... um. On Monday, since I was low on mileage, I ended up totaling 17 for the day. Oh. Which is one of my biggest days ever. Yeah, well, I, I guess we didn't mention so how much mileage. Yeah, yeah I had 17. Because I only had six on Monday, and it was pretty rough for me. I was like, I don't know how I'm going to make this up. Then I ended up with 17 on Tuesday. I guess, yeah. I guess we made up for it. Yeah, that I was on a lot of miles here. So, yeah, we I literally ran a 7-4 double. So, I guess I'll, it's like 11K and like a 6.5K around the afternoon for me. Um, But they were both like literally at like 750s or like 450 pace. Like, I will try them these days on the soft surface. These pussies hate running on the soft surface, which is bullshit. No, I like, I'm it. running by myself. Like, I'm, I'm it's like, because we don't have, the soft surface they're picturing are trails that are all nice and maintained. Bro, the soft no, surface that we run on it is slows a us levee, down, though. It's a levee that doesn't even have a trail on bro, it. We're it just does. running on top of the bro, levee. They shit on the levee. Like, these little levees, like, literally on our campus, like, outside, and they're basically like 14 foot, like, mounds of, like, grass. I still remember. For the hurricanes yeah, and, and shit. In high school. My brother was running on one of those levees, yeah. and he twisted his ankle. And oh. he, it was like the only time I've ever heard of him getting injured and actually having to take time. Oh, so one bloke once, like four years ago, no, twisted I twist his ankle. my ankle on it every time I run. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it also anyway, amplifies side stitches. Yeah, you and work too Wednesdays are a super cruisy day, so no strides or anything. Thursday, this is the worst day of the year. This is my bad. This is the day we ran on the lakefront, and these guys actually ran a levee with me. We ran seven thirties. Um, I did. We also had strides as well, so I got eight for the morning. Yeah. Um, and we just did some like strides in the car park, just you know, in our heavies, like nothing real fancy about it. Chilling. Yeah. Friday though, this was a this was an interesting workout. Very interesting workout, especially um, given, you know, we're racing, I guess, this week now. Um, I guess, you know, last week it was a week to the day. So basically we had a mile pretty hard, like, no doubt about it. Like, it yeah. ended up being harder than we actually thought. We Two thought. mile warm up, and it was supposed to be a mile fast that was supposed to replicate, like, a 5K opener. From yeah, what I understood. But on the but line, we ended up taking it in our own well, hands. And no, it was on the line. He said, like, if you guys can run, like, a 430, like, go run a 430. Yeah, he did say that. He and I was like, that. in my head, I was like, we're probably going to run, like, a 440, like, 5. Yeah, I was thinking 430 was going to be way out Yeah, I was like, I'm but, like, dude, and then we just got after it, dog. Like, me, I me and Pardo, I think you, they got after it. I chilled in the back, and I was planning on running a 440 because he told me to stay behind specifically. And also... I wasn't trying to run 4.30. Yeah. So I chilled in the back. But then, like, we like, passed, yeah. We, we went through, like, half a mile at, in, like, 2.15s, which is, like, we would have split 800 for, I guess, my metric guys in, like, was, like 2.18. 2.12. And it's not a like, cross course, by the way. Like, what, what, and this is marked as well, like, by, like you know, just so any colleges that try and shit in our uh, sessions be like, dude, this is so bullshit. Dude, but you, dude, you need to read the Let's, I'm sorry. Yeah, you need yeah. to read the Let's run about, like, Louisiana and how bad the country thinks Louisiana is. 
because um we ran a state meet and Hunter won the state meet with seventeen thirty eight and yeah the, and it's like three mile and it's so like all of West Run is just like this state sucks it's like ridiculous and like no one did even an ounce of research to see that like Hunter was a nine flat guy in the team mile. Yeah, I that was funny. the course it was just cooked. Like any, like yeah. So we, I didn't like we went through two fifteen, and I kind of held on. There was an incident at like point seven, but this is this is my hand on a rain. Sorry, so um, oh, we'll, oh, we'll, oh. we'll keep it. We'll keep it for a little yeah, bit. Can't talk about that. Yeah, yeah I can't talk about it yet. But they gave me a bit of an adrenaline rush, and um, I ended up closing and like I ran a four twenty nine, four thirty for I mean a mile, which is you know a marked mile. Um, you know, that's my 3k PV phase. Yeah, and I, ran, I ended up closing hard. Dude, this guy came from the shadow realm. Yeah, because I, I went on like 219, 220, and I ended up running, I think I closed in like 211. Yeah, you ran, ran like, like two, four, Yeah, I ran 431. I was right behind them. I ended up reeling them in and uh, like home street, and I ran 431. Dude, I was looking so, back on it, and I was like, I don't know, like, it didn't feel like a 430. It but didn't it, at all. No, I feel but, like I could have kept going. But it, 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 like, it was hard. It was so, it was so hard. But I was, like, thinking after, like, it's almost like I knew, like, I had this hard mile. And this is, like, the majority of our workout. I, yeah. like, subconsciously could just, like, put a bit more into it. And without, like, perception being, you know, I'm working. Like, this is my three. Like, I've run more than a half away for three. Yeah. If I told you to do that, like, you know, on a workout day, like, okay, we're going to run you know, full fifth, we're going to run 410 for 1500 or like, you know, halfway for, you'd be like, geez, that's like a pretty hard workout, but like, that doesn't feel that hard. Yeah. And we just did that. Anyway, and then we had a progression run, but this is where I shit the bed because I can't run outside apparently. And um, Mason ended up big dicking it. He had a good day. So yeah. what, we started like 6.15. So yeah, we got, um, well, I have it pulled up. We got yeah. five minutes rest after the 431 mile. And um, then we were supposed to do a seven mile progression starting at 6.15 down that high end threshold. So like 5.30. But the weather on this day was crap. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, so. Seven miles, like even jogging would have been I hard. remember the <laughs> first 6.15 mile, we had multiple people saying like, including me, I was like, we're not doing seven miles. Yeah, so dude. We're not no, no. Below you, know what's, you know what's 40s. weird? I was feeling good early. I was like, I dude, was. It, felt, it felt like I was jogging because like the, obviously the pace is yeah, I hopped on the struggle bus on the 6.15s and I was like, maybe if we run faster, I'll feel better. So let's just hold on. Yeah, like, that's what ended up happening. So we, we progressed how we were supposed to. It was supposed to be down like five seconds. Your splits are bullshit, per, though. My splits are a little bullshit. No, so it was, yeah, six. six I got six. I got six fourteen, and then it was, um, it went down to like 6.08, 6.03, six flat. And then this is when Matt Hanzo decided, like, my legs just decided, like, to not work anymore. Well, to, no, to be fair, pretty much the whole team blew up. So, out. so I just had a I, d- I did five. I was feeling really yesterday. good, so I took advantage of the day that I felt good on. But 100%. I, I, I see I, I why everyone agree. else felt horrible. I don't know how I felt good. I'm by yeah, no but, means in the best I mean, shape could, on the team. No, you, no, my best you, you're in good shape. Right. Like, split, flex, you were, like, so we, I stopped. I ran a 5.50, and I pulled off at five miles. I decided, yeah. you know, even I if I was to run, like, a 5.30, like... I would, I would be so fried. Yeah, on that fifth mile is when me and Kelvin, I think... Yeah, you guys were starting to be kind of with ourselves, because they split a 5.55 in the fifth mile, and I think... I don't know if anybody went to six in that backpack, but I know they ran No, they did, but they blew up big. Yeah, so, so I, that's didn't, I didn't, I didn't see bad. them. But me and Kelvin took it down to 5.48, and I'll say Kelvin was looking good, man. Dude. So, and then I was like, Kelvin, are you feeling good? We can drop it down, and he, he dropped it down without even answering me, so... He was feeling good, and he ended up running five twenty four. And I was actually kind of on the struggle bus for that that six mile. But um, asked Kelvin if he was going to stop or not, and he was like, "I'm going to listen to Clayton." Clayton told us to go to seven, but Kelvin stopped for some reason. I think it was mis- <laughs> I think it was mis- miscommunication. He really wasn't like he was breathing hard, but when you're running a five twenty, I didn't know either, yeah, like you're going to breathe hard. But yeah, he ended up dropping at six, and I was like, "I'm just going to go to six and a half because I feel like amazing." So I grabbed a water, and I went like while I was running, I went to six and a half. And then I got to six and a half and I was still feeling decent. And I was like, should I stop? Should I not stop? And then I looked down at my watch and I was running 520 pace. And I was like, Pretty nah, well, let's, right? I was like, yeah, let's crank it down. Dude, fuck. That's and so sick. Dog. So I split a 5.8. eight on the last mile. And Kelvin yeah. had a really good workout. Yeah, too. right. Dude, that's crazy. Like, and this, this was hot. This was like 30. By the time he was yeah, running light, it would have been like 32, 33 degrees. And, um... Dude, I felt so shit when I was walking back from doing my fucking pussy five mile, and I see this bloke. Someone grab a water bottle. Look, you know that guy, that ge- like that random German guy, <laughs> Billy, that like rides his bike up to keep choking and like came yeah. to the water bottle. Del Gano started like matching your speed, and you had like the smoothest like bottle transition. I was like, dude, was fuck wild. this guy, bro. Why is he really good? I think, I think, I think <laughs> so because they probably don't know this. I have really, really bad stomach issues. I throw up. Well, so last year during cross, we had five races. I threw up in five races. Yeah, right. And every single time down the home straight, 
for this whole summer, I threw up pretty much every workout. I'm surprised you didn't and say on Tuesday you threw up in the last mile, in like the no, last like, point one. So, ever recently, I've been hydrating really well. And the biggest thing I think that's made a difference, because Brock never really did this. I love Brock. Brock but was he never really Brock he went to practice or anything. No, so yeah. we never really had that much. And like, I didn't want to just chug my whole water during the workout. So there wasn't that like accessible, really cool water mm. when it was like so hot out. But I think now that like I have water during the workout, it's a lot easier to get yeah, it down. We do, so we do drink a lot and we have like the Gatorade thing out now. Anyway, um, then in the afternoon, I did four miles like at like 8 p.m. with Colin Saltzman. He's the new graduate assistant coach, you all know. Um, he was on the he's team. Yeah, he's like, he's got all our school records in the five, the steeple. Um, but three, like four, 14, 18. Four, uh, four, yeah, 14, 19. So you gave me a second then. Yeah, 8, 19. What? Right, you're a second of them, babe. <laughs> I thought one of them was 18. Nah. Oh, well. Anyway, um, I did four miles of him. Did you double? Um, oh, no, you rode the bike this day and I called you a pussy, remember? Because we had oh, lift. Yeah, we I had rode, lift no, at like 1 no, p.m. Well, pause. I rode the bike because I am smart with my mileage. And if they could see my, they'll follow me on Strava, you'll see my Strava progression. I have built myself up to 70 miles, held it for six weeks. I have now built up to 73. I will hold it for three weeks. And if I doubled on this day, I would end up like 78 miles in a week. Or I would have had to take Saturday off. And I didn't want to take a day off. So I, I biked. Because also, I, I needed stuff out of my legs. So I bike. Sell it. Bro, imagine smart. cross training. Dude, honestly, bro, run as many miles as it takes to get a stress fracture. Like, that's how it should work. Dude, honestly, smart training. that labor from stress fracture. Um, Saturday, no, I just did four miles. This up. Yeah, on Saturday, your I could only do three, or I would have gone over on mileage. Yeah. Because so. I forget, on um, Wednesday, I ended up hitting like 12 total. Or no, 10 total, and then 12 total the day before. Yeah. Like, so the and you obviously want to be able to do a decent long run. I yeah. guess this goes on to a long run. Um, I guess I we both really had good long runs. Oh, yeah, that was it. I was being a poozer, and I had to pee, like, three times in the first half of the run. So, so I got, just did, yeah, I got yeah, you're dropped, by yourself dropped from the group, but I was still running well, so they all had their own long run. Yeah, so really, really well. I guess, like, part of, like, this is my, like, to, all right, I'm going to be completely honest. I pretty much felt shit every day since I've been here, and I've been here That's for, like, long. Like, I've been here for, like, uh, just over two weeks. The heat's just hard, man. Dude, even part of it, to get used to it. Yeah, and it's, like, um, it, it's fine. Like, I'm getting better in the heat. But this day, for some reason, uh, like, it felt like I came down from altitude. We have a little bit of a breeze. It was still 29 degrees. 30, feels like 33. And well, that's, like, you know, high, I guess, like, mid-80s yeah, yeah. with humidity. And, um, I don't know. I just felt really good. I mean, I, me and Pardo and I are both feeling good. Evan Pardo, um, he, we'll bring him on the pod very soon. We just rolled, like, I did 14 and a half miles at, you know, 505 pace or, like, you know, 650, uh, 635 mile pace and I was just, you know, cruising and felt really good. Closed in like a few like 540s at the end, which is funny given I can't even do that on workouts. So, I mean, I guess you had a even yeah. better long run. You're having 619. Yeah, because also so. I had cranked it down earlier than them to catch them. So I started running 630s as my fourth mile, but I never caught them. I got back to Clayton's truck. First time ever, 45 minutes into this run, I took a gel. Oh, that's done. right. Yeah, I've been taking. Um, I took a gel at um, which seven, mi- it, seven miles. I feel like such a baby for taking one forty. No, it's minutes way smaller. It's, it's just way smaller. Than I'm doing, I, did, yeah, I did it for the electrolytes, not for like the fuel and everything. Yeah, I just needed something and not chugging a bunch of water. And no, I dude, think it really dude, did help. I, I'm a big believer now yeah. that you should be eating on your long runs. Once I, I, I don't think gel. the depletion is good for you, dog. It just makes you feel fucking cool. It also, yeah, just like yeah, hurts a lot more after. Like, I, I feel like yeah if you take stuff on during the run it's like you know you've already your body's already kind of like work as soon as you finish the run you've still got like fuel like you like i know it's only 14 and a half miles running out there for like you know an hour 40 but like i, I still think especially in the heat yeah. getting those like that sodium in especially like i have the goo gels they also got a bit of caffeine right. in them as well like honestly like it's a it's if it's a legal yeah. stimulus like why well, i'm not going to use it to increase my performance yeah you know at one point i thought that was making me throw up yeah, th- they are thick. You, you need, yeah. No, um, not the gel. It's just caffeine in general. Oh, yeah, the gel, no. I think, very much helped my stomach. I, this is the first long run in a while because other than stomach issues or throwing up, I get side stitches really bad. And this is the first run in a while that I didn't get a side stitch, which makes me think that my side stitch is very much like dehydration. Yeah, definitely. Nutrition based. Maybe even like I, I've just been feeling it. so good once I've started thinking about like just a lot more doing the little things mm. about nutrition and stuff. And everything's gone away. So once I got that gel in me, I cranked it down, and I just started running 550s, and then I ran a 540 to close. So Fit. I ended up averaging 619. 
asked for 13. I didn't go to 13.1 because I'm a baby. How many yeah. kilometers is that? Uh, well, I mean, know that a half third, marathon is 13.1. Yeah, well, it's like no one. Like half marathon is 21.1k. He would have run 20.9k, so he's like 200 meters away. Fucking yeah. pussy. Anyway, um, I guess mileage for the week, 75. You already mentioned how you... 73. Did. 73. There you go. I hit um, 86 for the week. So, um, 80, so 70, 72 miles is probably like 118, 117k. And then... Uh, 86 is like 138. So yeah, I had another big week. Mason's consistent. So yeah, that was a really big week for me too, and that pretty much caps off the week. Yeah, 100. Exactly. We do nothing on Sundays after the long and we ain't got no little things. We just I see. I did core because I'm like trying to get sneakily fit. I never do anything on <laughs> around long run days. I just all right. Well, I guess we can like flow into the next segment now. So um, just so we'll, we'll keep this one nice and quick though, keeping up with you and hope. So righty, uh, ready. There you go. Right, yeah. So now we're going to go into like a bit of a different segment because obviously we're both in a college team. I think like this is going to be kind of sick to talk about the whole cross country season. And we and can. It's not going to take long. And we're going to bring on uh, the guys like eventually. Like we'll kind of go through them. Some people probably probably won't want to, I'm yeah. assuming. But you know, we'll get as many people that as they want to on. Um, everyone's pretty good with like the YouTube, I assume. Like everyone yeah. likes it. So, I mean, I'm sure podcasts be pretty similar. So, I guess, um, yeah, keeping up with you or no, we're going to quickly intro the guys on the team. I guess we'll start, start with the guys who have been here. Yeah. So Alex and Cade. They've yeah. been here since even right as Brock got here, I think. They've Brock Moore, our really old coach. Uh, Alex is from Louisiana, from Ville Platte, I believe. Yeah, that's not common, right? Yeah, Ville Platte. And uh, he's a good runner in high school. He works really hard. Bit unlucky with like injuries and stuff, but he's finally yeah, kind of. He's had he hasn't a lot been of injured with since I've been here. Stuff, but he was able to really improve last year. Broke four and fifteen hundred. He's a very competitive guy, and he, he loves ended up breaking four in the fifteen hundred. He ran really well in cross a few times. Um, Before like cross has been yeah, just kind of like ran a pretty decent. On. He ran a good five k at ULL. Yeah, and, and a bunch right. of other really good. Uh, Races during the track hundreds. season. This yeah, is pretty I much mean, his first track season for a few years, so he yeah. did really well. And I guess Cade, yeah, really good Cade's like the same thing, been here for a while. Super um, consistent. He's always someone you can rely on. To 100%. Really he just run his heart Never out. really shits the bed. He's very smart as well. What is he studying? He's, he's a uh, something medical field. So yeah, he's like a he, chemistry major. Yeah, he's a he's very smart medical fella. Medical and um, I call him the lumberjack because he's built. Like he he's, is big. He's a... He's a He's an absolute he, machine dog. Like yeah. he remind for my Australian listeners, he reminds me of like Rob DiCastello. Yeah, he's also um grew up in Louisiana. Also, I actually went to. Whoops. <laughs> he just kicked over the camera for those okay. uh those, those uh, watching the video. I went me. to high school with Cade for my eighth grade and freshman year at Brother Martin High School. And he was and friends then I ended up Hunter as well. Away, but yeah, Cade is really good friends with my brother also. So I've known him for a while, and he's always just been improving and running i don't think it'll stop until he stops running so. 100 i guess like we'll roll into like you know us um and then you, you oh, i guess like evan pardo um okay. we call him pardo so we mostly i don't really ever call him evan yeah pardo. i call him pardo uh not many people have the last name pardo so it doesn't become a so problem he was like a, a, uh he was sent from god to you know basically because he yes. um he he, he left, left your he LSU. left you left lsu and then um i recruited him Yep, Mason was like, I well, legally recruited him because he was in the transfer. Yeah, Mason was like, you, you know, do you still want to run? Like, you can come to UNO. So he came to UNO and he's, I mean, he ran 14 40. Um, and he's he's like, always been a really good runner. He's been running since in like the sixth grade. And his dad was a really good runner. So his dad's been training him since the sixth grade. And he's just put in the miles over the years and it's starting to show. Yeah, it like, even started to show in high school. He was a good high school runner. That's um, why he went to LSU originally. And yeah, like, so he was able to get at LSU. He ran well with LSU. And um, we're lucky to have him. Yeah, we're he's definitely pretty, like a pretty big piece. Yeah, Pardo is definitely going to be this season. He's more of a five k, ten k guy. He's run eight thirty two for the three k as well. So I mean, he's no, he's not slow, but definitely more of an aerobic guy. He's been crushing things recently as well. Guess rolling into um, you know, we got, got the last Louisiana person. Yeah, well, well, no, we no, got Delgado. And, oh yeah, Colin and Delgado. So we got Delgado, Antonio Delgado. He's from um, Homa. He's from New Orleans, pretty much. Homa's right here. Yeah, and he he's a mad lad. Love Delgado. Super hard working as well. He always does the little things. He's also got his own YouTube channel. Yeah, so go subscribe to that. I'll link it in the show notes. Um, but yeah, he, uh, he's also dating Emma on the team, who's like oh, yeah. one of our girl and recruits. Emma's also a dog. And they're both really good. So um, I think I mean Delgado's been training the house down. Like he's. He's gonna have a breakout yeah. year in this cross season. He like, already is having some really good work. Like he dropped me today. Yeah. So there you go. Um. 
So I guess uh, we also got uh, we got Kelvin Kelvin Chiku. Um, he's from um, Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe, and he is he's also a very good piece to have. <laughs> yeah, dude, he is crazy. He's done some of the most impressive workouts I've, yeah. I've seen in person. He's one of those that's, guys that's just. I, got the heart I've seen and... impressive shit. I like. I used to watch Fog Dog workout. I used to, you know, and he did some crazy shit. And yeah. um, he's run yeah sub one fifty for the eight hundred, three forty seven for the fifteen hundred. Absolute dog. He could hop on a two hundred and compete with that field. Oh, dude, he used to be a four hundred hurdler. So you know, crazy. Did he? Yeah, didn't know that. I did not. Yeah, no. He's that he's makes up. sense. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? He's an athletic guy. So I guess um. Yeah. And then we got our new recruits. So we got um Christian. Christian who's um really good 800 runner he's run 154 so um i, I also he's also been working real hard cross yeah. probably he's probably more yeah, bad he'll bad bad a strong suit but he'll be very big he'll be in track. Oh, and he's also a good person to have in cross he, he's definitely gonna um have a day out at um yeah. like he's gonna break all his pb so he came from a juco college yeah, with our training program i mean i'm sure he just didn't train much for anything other than the 800 mm, high school 100 percent um, with our training program, he's definitely the kind of guy that's going to have he went to the same to be able to run really good in cross. Fun fact, so. he went to the same school as Colin Saltzman, our right, oh, assistant yeah. coach. And, um, so they're both from New Iberia. I, I think, no, actually, I don't know if he's I from think New Christian's Iberia, from... He, I thought he told me he was from right outside of Lafayette, which might be New Iberia. Yeah. I don't really... I don't remember. But, but yeah, he's, he's, he's a cool guy. Yeah, he's a cool guy. And then we... um Very recently, Baptiste. Yeah, Baptiste. Frenchman. He is from France, and he is a great guy. He's very nice. And... um. 154. He's very, he's wait, very good on the track. 151 guy. No, 151, 151 guy. 354. Yeah, he ran 151. He was at Juco, and then he went to ULL, and we got him from University ULL. of Louisiana yeah. Lafayette, one of the and, um, rival D1 schools. He's also playing home. He's definitely going to be a piece in cross. Um, 100%. He, at our opener last year, ran, placed seventh. And ran 1507. Yeah, he would have gotten second for our team, 1507. So, so. definitely going to be a very big piece in this team. So um, I guess that's I, – I hope that we've got everyone. And we also got – Let me check. Um, I guess positive, our so. coach is Coach Clayton. Um, he's just came in. Bizarre. Brock Morrow. Yo, we oh, got Gary. <laughs> oh, we didn't forget <laughs> Gary. Forget Gary. Dude, Gary's probably like the biggest personality on the team. Yeah. Great guy. Definitely says very some wacky smart. stuff sometimes. Yeah. Very smart. Um he's from well He's um, from Chalmette, which is New Orleans. It's yeah, so Gary. he's a local as well. He's run eight thirty seven in the three K. So he's not not a slouch, but we have this thing called Gary Fitness. It's basically like you gotta run like you you can't run well until conference. Yeah, that's like, just because he doesn't train until conference. No, well he's doing better than Well he starts time. training now and then the sixth is not doing better this time. What do you mean? No, he's getting there now. He's training really hard. So he's um definitely um come from a kind of tricky spot with um summer training, but he's definitely gonna be a, a once he like once conference rolls around, yeah, he'll be once conference goes around, he'll be our second guy. He will. Like he, he always pulls his shit. So anyway, um that's the team and I guess like why we're introing everyone is because obviously I want to get him on the podcast, but yeah. we also, you know, it's nice to try to put a you know, a name to the description because you can't see their faces yet. But yeah, I, I mean, to say a name to the face. Yeah, but you know, it's always nice to know, like, when we mention, like, oh, remember when I did this Zapato? It's always nice to yeah. kind of know that. This is why this is a pilot episode. Yeah, it's a very, uh, for those that don't know, it's a really small team. So, yeah, it's a very. Are, we got nine guys. I think we introduced nine guys, but we actually have eight. No, we have nine now because of Baptiste. So, um, yeah. We introduced 10 guys, I think. And yeah. Including Colin. 100% Colin Saltzman, obviously. Um, we've talked to him before. But I guess, like, um, going into, like, what we have this week, very um you know cool event that we host a um home meet so do you want to open up um i guess like uh real quick just you know we're gonna be sending the whole team obviously two lanes going so two lane were ranked third in our region um so they're kind of like a shoe in for nationals but apparently they're not sending all their top guys but you know they're still gonna have a really deep team they have a lot of kids um we also got lsu who have a lot of really good freshmen i would say they probably had the strongest recruiting class yeah they got will and jack also yeah and um yeah we also have a few of the local schools um you know like the nia yeah loyola which you know they'll add numbers i don't know if ull's coming in yeah, ULL, ULL's attend- on the sheet that's they're gone. supposed to be, but yeah. I've heard rumors that they're not. But I guess we'll see. But you know, where I would say on the women's side was South a Eastern. favorite. Southeastern. Yeah, Southeastern. Yeah, Southeastern, another D one school in our conference. Um, so like, I guess what what are you hoping for in this race, real quick? Like, I know I know your goals, but I'm asking for the. I want to run the front pack and just 
mix it put up. Put yourself in it. Back. That's my biggest and thing. I don't want to focus too much on time. Breaking 15 or getting close to breaking 15 mm. would be huge. That's always big on the course. I, I mean, think I the record's be, like 14.45. Yeah. I wouldn't be mad with a 15.0, but like mm. breaking 15 would be awesome. I think for me, I'm I definitely going to under, under uh, you know, I'm going to sound underconfident, so underconfident, not confident. So I guess if I run good, but I'm definitely hoping to finish in the top 10. Uh, yeah. But given like how I've kind of been struggling a bit in the heat, um, still race. I'm still gonna. It's still a race, and I, I could, you always surprise yourself. Race. It's a 15 minute race, like it's gonna be fine. So I'm hoping, yeah, top 10 and hopefully under 15, 20 would be good. So I guess those are like goals um, for us, and the team's looking good. Everyone's fit. A um, little bit of a only a slight taper because obviously it's early days. But yeah, I'm pretty confident we'll be hopefully in the battle for the win for the main. Yeah. Um, it would definitely be close, but I mean, if we all kind of do our bits, you know, I've never run for like a team before, so it's gonna be cool. So yeah. no, well, I'll be like, we have the club system with like, obviously love my burst squad guys, but we never really do like team comps. I've done like a few like relays and stuff, but like, I mean, like, I know. you know, when you're running, like your I train with you guys yeah, every running day. Running across as a team is fun. Yeah, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. So I guess we can move swiftly on um to relevant running news, which is basically just gonna be. The world champs because that's been going on the last kind of week. I think the biggest thing was um I guess you could say Jakob losing was pretty big. But I, I would just think Noah Isles triple. Yeah. No, that's not distance. Yeah, I'm that a that big was track fan in general and I love sprints as well. Yeah, I would say that's pretty Isles impressive. That. But um I guess on the distance side, like Jakob losing was huge. Like Jakob for losing me, is huge, yeah, but I don't know if he was feeling the best. Yeah, I like, no, I no, I, dude, dude, that is the most bullshit thing ever said. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cap, bro. Like, honestly, he just said that because he lost, and the way I he agree, was talking, the way he was talking about Josh Kerr, and even last year, the way he was talking about um, Jake Whiteman is just embarrassing for him. He's, I it's don't basically think he was he's having a he's soul. sick though. I think it was more so him owning. Like, I feel like everyone is looking at it wrong. Like he did, he's not owning up, but I feel like he is owning up. He's just. But he's also saying it how it is. He's the best runner in the world. Right no, now. That's, he, he, no, that's no, undebatable. No, no, no so doubt. When you, ask him, when you ask him what happened, Jakob, he's, he's being, I, I feel like he is being truthful no, when honestly, he says, like, I just didn't feel good today. I didn't have it in me. You know, like he said, his legs didn't feel good at the start of the race, and he would have liked them to feel better. You know, that's, no, no, I but my, my whole thing is, like, he, the way he was speaking about his opponents, as if there's, like, um you know, no respect kind of thing. It's like the yeah. fact that beat him, it, like the fact that they beat him is like almost disgusting to him. Like that, yeah, that shouldn't, I think you, that's, you can obviously feel that. Like if you like, I'm, I'm not never been in a situation where I'm that good. Yeah. Like I, I get it. He's, it, it's probably something to do with that, but you know, it, it just seems a bit like this. It, it left a bad taste in my mouth when I like yeah. listen to the interview and stuff, but I guess he came back and won the 5k, which is imp- yeah. fucking impressive, dude. Crazy He's impressive. Deep in that five and too. It, it, with those guys in that field, I really think Jakob. And a fresh Mo Katil. Focus a little more on the five. I know he. I know he got knocked down the semis, but Mo Katil, like, you know, the in back, the fifteen. Yeah, so he he had one race less than Jakob to do, and he looked good in the heat, and he he yeah. was giving it to him. Um, I guess in the ten k as well. I mean, we we had like a tipping comp. I I think I I'm gonna say I won. I stopped doing it. Yeah, I know. I, I know you stopped doing it, but like, I, I would have. I won. Like all my picks for like the the last few. I would have been pretty good. I think I, I picked thing, Jakob to win the. Yeah, I know the women's steeplechase would have gotten wrong because I picked um the girl that won it uh, last year to win it. Bro, she came like six. No, she got second. I thought. No. Oh, I picked the girl that got second to win. Oh, the is world record holder, bro. Yeah. This is how buns you are with your track and field, bro. You would have yeah. known that she ran down like twenty eighteen, and she's been kind of shit for like. Two Who's years. the one that ran the wrong? Like she yes, accidentally that took one. the curve. Yeah, the one I'm talking what about. What did she place? Second, but this is That's her first. No, 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 no. I know, I know, but she she only ran well once. Like this is the first time for really? like two years. Yeah. That's why oh, I didn't well, pick her. I picked her because. Dude, watching that race was ridiculous. She yeah. was like twenty meters behind. She reeled them in and then out kicked them. I thought, dude, that was insane. Anyway, <laughs> so um, men's ten k. I thought Aragari was gonna win. I was kind of a bit surprised. I, I, I mean, Chepty just hasn't really shown much for me the whole season to like 
me to but put can my favorite rule check. No, but out he can't, and he's got it right. Now he's got it right enough times. I to honestly three also up. thought that Jeff the guy was going to have a chance to double in the five k until he dropped it. Yeah, at least foot or something. I was really upset that he dropped it because the kick that he had at the end Dude, of that ten k, he wild. had more run left in his legs. Yeah, that, that was wild. But he made them look like they were walking at times, bro. But, um, and they weren't. Yeah. <laughs> like he was so I guess I've learned from the world champs not to doubt chapter guy because I I really did, dude. dude I there's a world. I, I think I put him third. I reckon I even said um Bale- uh, Borrego was gonna get second. I think I put him second. Actually, no, no, I put him third. Uh, so I put him second and Borrego third. I put Aragami first. Borrego treadmill. Like, why didn't you dip into the line? Stupid. Definitely not yeah, getting yeah, races. Yeah. I didn't even know that happened until like a day after. Yeah, some stupid on, stuff. Like, and I guess the women's 10K as well. You would have been pretty happy with Felicia Monson. Like, she yeah, yeah. Big. She got fourth, right? Yeah, fifth. Maybe fourth, fifth. I but don't know, but she, she was with Duke. the front pack. Bro. Yeah, that was crazy, oh, was dog. Really and obviously, yeah. Who won that? Um, Stefan Hassan didn't win. No, Stefan Hassan said that. Oh, yeah, she fell. Remember, she fell over. She fell? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. She fell. I'm sorry, I was drunk. Dude, what do we think about that? Do you reckon she should have been awarded? You, 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 you were saying she should have been awarded the win, but I disagreed. I said that. No, I only thought it. that because, I'm going to be honest, because like, didn't, someone said it, and usually when I hear that, I am the person that's going to... If someone's saying it, it's got to be true, but I watched it back right after I told you that, because like, I'm not just going to keep going around saying stuff. Yeah, and, um, roommates in my yeah, I definitely noticed that she did not get true. She kind of just fell. Yeah, she should have. Yeah, exactly. But, but right, it was so still Fana BS Sans, because also I was almost perfect on that prediction. Dude, yeah, you went wrong. And I'm um, one, two, three. Yeah, I guess that's pretty much all the. I mean, the women's five k. I, I, mean, I think I think Faith could be a guy had one of the best meets. Yeah, dude, dude that's she crazy. Was dog. She went fifteen five k right. Fifteen five both, and then she also yeah. like ran and, um, like three fifty five in the in the heat of the yeah what uh, of the fifteen. Did Savannah sound triple or did she? Get yeah, to that one? um, she came eleventh and then third and then. Third. Was she get eleventh then? Oh, cause she fell. Yeah, and she okay. That it. was what I was about to say. Cause she had like a real. I thought she got second in the fifteen. Mm-hmm. She did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she did. And then I thought she might have gotten second in the five k. Irish also. girl got four. I thought she got second in the five k also. Nah, are you sure? Yeah, no. Let me look this up real quick. Yeah, honestly, this is great radio. Anyway, while he's searching that up, we're going to intro our last uh, segment, Hands on a Rant. So, also, um, Apple's on a baffle. Um, so, this one, I, I need to be careful what I said because I was really angry at this time. Uh, and yeah. I, I need to make sure I don't portray the emotions like that. I need to stay really professional mm-hmm. about it. Because, like, I know it's, like, probably cause of this um, bit of beef now. And, like, I don't want that. Like, I, I want to see this. I want us to be you. friends. So, basically, it was a rival university that was um, training at the UNO cross course at the same time we were. So, we had practice at the same time. Which is fair. It's an open public park. Like, you know. Yes, they they it texted fair. They, they texted, texted our coach and asked, like, if they, were, they could come. And we're like, yeah. And, like, they were a pretty big team, to be honest, compared to us. They probably had, like, 40 people out there. Yeah. So, I mean, the course is, isn't that wide, right? And, um... Obviously, um, people start workouts at a different time. People are doing different things. They were doing intervals and all that kind of stuff. But um, I think just we need to, like, there needs to be... Yeah. Okay. So, final saying I came second. There needs to be, like, you know, if I'm doing a workout and you're doing a warm-up, like, who has right away on the course? Yeah. Um, I and, think... And the obvious answer is going to be the people doing the workout, right? But... Yes. And also the people going in the direct, correct direction. Yeah. So, the whole thing was that uh, we were into... We were, 0.7 into this mile rep and where um, we ran 431 yeah and um they're warming up on the reverse way um just jogging they there was a little bunch of them which is fine like we were doing the same thing like you know 20 minutes before we'd start the workout but um i'd called track like as in like you know can you guys like move out of the way so we can run the course but they kind of just like didn't move and then we end up having to like run like around them and stuff and Obviously, we're in a bit of a pack. It also broke up our pack. And I, uh, in the moment, you know, had some profanity for them. But, like, you know, I was pretty angry. I just kind of thought, you know, I really respect everyone. Yeah. Like, I think running really running, runners. running has to be a sport where we all respect each other, being, like, more yeah. of an individual thing. It's like, you know, you got to respect that, you know, you're working hard. Like, everyone's working hard, right? Like, all that kind of stuff. And there's obviously, being a runner, there's always that kind of stuff. So, I think it's just, like, a, a thing of, um, you know... If someone's doing a workout and you're warming up, just like you know, just be aware, you know, of, you know, especially if you're on like a track or like a I public agree. place like that, because you know that like that kind of threw me off a bit because it was like mid rep. I'm having to like maybe it was like race simulation. Maybe they were just trying to make us better. 
But like, I, I also I want to apologize for my words as well. I didn't mean it. I was just cranky towards. I, I I I didn't I didn't pick anyone out. I was just generally angry at the situation. Um. So um. I guess that's unless you've got anything for apples on a baffle. I mean, this is pretty much. I don't know what it means. <laughs> it's basically just like picking something about running that you like. You don't like. You haven't really like been messing with recently. Oh, the heat, but other than that, I've been messing with everything. I've yeah, exactly. So, so this is the only thing that I haven't messed with. Like the last, like the only thing I haven't been messing with is I feel like my form's all out of whack. Yeah, it's which is weird. No, it, I it, hate that feeling. That it just doesn't feel like it's clicking. Like same. sometimes I feel like I'm floating, like when I run. Yeah, like, especially in workouts, like at five flat pace. Uh, the treadmill is the perfect example. Doing the three minute intervals on the treadmill at five flats sometimes for me just feels butt awesome. Yeah, but recently. It, like aerobically I feel great like my heart rate stays down I'm fine but I just feel like I'm trying too hard to run fast like I'm not mm. floating like I usually do dude yeah I, I never float so I don't really know what you're talking about oh sometimes I do like sometimes that five flat pace actually feels like decently run like it feels like I'm smooth with it and I'm running dude it couldn't be me now man. it just feels like too fast have you seen the way I run though I run like a, I run yeah. lead so I, I don't, I'm not smooth just I'm very jarry yeah dig deep um anyway that wraps up the pilot episode we still actually got a decent bit of content we did to be this honest. is actually gonna be longer than 40 minutes yeah. yeah exactly we actually wanted to cap it at 40 but you know there might be some some um editing i guess maybe maybe i'll speed a little up or something <laughs> you probably could <laughs> right, imagine how like high our voices would be though but um <laughs> yeah i guess uh the best way for you like you as an individual if you want more podcasts is obviously interact with it so yeah. um make sure you follow him on instagram and strava follow me on strava and instagram i'll tag him in the in the, sh- in the description um but also as well like on spotify and apple Podcasts, if you can review the podcast um that'd be that'd be mad Jeez. it takes like two seconds to like press like five stars and then if that happens then it gets pushed more and then hopefully we can get more like you know like yeah. all these australian podcasts get like they have this thing with like norway now so they have like a norwegian like fan base and there's this random Australian running podcast yeah it's some weird ass shit but um yeah if we if we want some random Norwegians listening to the podcast make sure you share <laughs> so and do that review so with that yeah any closing remarks oh yeah well, have a good one yeah ladies